thanks for joining me. The church at Clanviangle Pembedu has come up a few times in my research. The mad rector of Kilreddin was here, it was his first appointment, and the architect RJ Withers was asked to draw up plans to remodel the church and restore it. So I thought I'd come and have a look. It's through this gate, which doesn't bode well, does it? This church has not been used for half a century, and it shows. The parish was always small. There's no village here, just a few scattered farms. And by the time the nearest village, Bonkath, had grown to any size, Tlanvihangel Pembedu was shunned in favour of Capel Colman Church, which is only a couple of miles away and nearer the village. This church was surplus to requirements and in an area which was predominantly chapel going, not church going. Well, it's open, as in it doesn't have a door, so let's go in and have a look. Oh no, all the pigeons are flying out and I'm being ah, bombed by pigeons. What a mess. Oh dear. Tower not vaulted, just lath and plaster and holes. And through what was the door. And oh dear, there's the font in bits and covered in pigeon poo. And there's a pew with poo. It's a bit of a mess. And here's another bit of pew and that seems to be all there is left of the pews in here. Why tracery in wood? Very old fashioned for an 1859 restoration and nothing much left of that window at all. Oh there's a bit on the floor. And that roof which looks late in 1859 to me chancel arch. There's the pulpit or there's the base of the pulpit and on the north side we have this vestry perhaps. Oh some stained glass. was a monument there that's gone and the remnants of a fireplace. Although oddly outside I didn't see a chimney. All a bit sorry. Sancti Throith Awethaith Dee Holiness becometh thy house Somewhat ironic now And the chancel Completely plain Bit of fuss in the window, nothing much Are there any chancel tiles? And there are Just about under all the guano it looks like something's been attached to the wall. Don't know what. Long gone now. Robert Jewell Withers put in a plan to totally restore this church, which was in 1859 actually ruinous, so it's been twice ruined. But his plans came to naught for some reason, probably cost. J.C. Davis of Cardigan got the contract, and this, this plain out of date and tatty box is his. The Ecclesiologist of February 1859. St Michael, Flamviangle, Pembadu, Pembrokeshire. This small ruinous church is to be rebuilt by Mr Withers. It has nothing but chancel, nave, a quasi transept on the north side and a gabled tower. In the new design we find a chancel with a vestry on its north side nave, southwestern porch and western tower, the old gable type being very properly retained. We much like the simple but sterling character of the new work. The arrangements are very good and the detail is decidedly above the average. The tower battens all the way up from the base to the gabled capping and has no buttresses or string courses. 
The east window of three trefoiled lights with two small trefoiled circles in the head, all within a foliated hood, is well raised up, and there is a plain tile reredos below it. The belfry is reached by a vertical ladder placed within a recess in the tower wall. Ah, what might have been. I hope you found this video interesting. Please remember to click the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you if you have. And as always, thank you for watching.